So I saw this article on BindingToComics.com. Uh, I just want to talk about this. I had, I had mentioned before about uh, G4 had basically it kind of gone after the fans. It tanked the fans. You had Frost attacking viewers, you know, accusing them of objectifying women and stuff. After Frost accuses viewers of objectifying women, G4 host Amaranth for a bikini ball pit segment. Which isn't really a surprise. Oops, I went down a little too far. There's your machine gun Kelly look. But in one of the most blatant 180s of, on Virtual Signal in recent years, it's a little under two months after ex promoting X-Play host Indiana Frost Black's on-air rant against sexism in gaming, which she accused audiences of disliking her because they did not find her as nice on the eyes. As previous network personalities, G4 has hosted notorious, borderline, not-safe-for-work Twitch streamer Caitlin Amaranth Siragusa for a segment centered around her sex appeal. Uh, it's, I, I, it was apparently, it took place on March 11th. As part of that day's episode of Name Your Price, a game show hosted by Twitch personalities Austin Show and Will Neff, wherein players attempted to guess the retail prices of various items, a la The Price is Right. Okay, I don't know, that's, it seems likable, fun enough, I guess, I suppose. I mean, I'm guessing they're going with like a 70s aesthetic kind of thing, wearing them, you know, suits and such. But anyway, it's, <laughs> it's, just, it's just funny and it's laughable that they... Like, they, they had that whole little rant thing with your, you know, with Frost and everything, going after the viewers, you objectify him, blah, 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 you hate me because I'm a woman, all that shit. And then, a couple months later, they get, they get this, because they start losing subscribers, because they've been talked for, not a ton of subscribers, I don't think, I hadn't seen their recent numbers. I imagine their subscri subscribers have gone up, because over time, your subscribers generally go up, unless you're a complete dumbass. And, you know, I haven't heard anything else about her going off on people, so, hey, you know. But it's just, it's just funny that, whoops, I went a little too far. There we go. You know, she, it, that they would have this. That this is, this is very blatant. Like the, like the article says, it's a blatant 180. It's completely obvious that they're like, hey, oh, shit. Maybe we went too far with this, you know sexism, you know, feminists, you know, feminist rant and stuff. We started losing people, so we got to go back. Because that's kind of what G4 has always been about. They've always been about stupid things, you know, sexuality and all, so on and such forth. Although it would really help if they didn't have fucking morons on there. Because the parts I've seen, now I, I like, well, I, won't, I won't bother going into some of the people, you know, the people on there. Because, you know, if you don't know, if you don't watch, you probably don't care. But anyway, they got they got some they got some good people on there. They got and there's some idiots on there, of course. But you know, there you know she does a little something with the shake weight, you know, a bottle of 1970s cologne, all the uncooked hot dogs. Oh, there we go. You know, uh, it's like that is just it's just wild. You know, and this a running gag throughout the episode featured regular series presenter. Just a minx expressing anger and jealousy at her misconception that she was being permanently replaced in a role by Amaron. Or a moron, or however you pronounce her name. She eventually culminates with Just a minx changing into a more revealing dress and forcing her way onto the stage in an attempt to actively compete with Amaron for the job. You know, say, hey, you know, okay, that's, that's cool. Oops. But, uh, yeah, so I, I'm not really sure exactly how Frost was, you know, feeling about this, or that clapping goofball seal, Sessler, Adam Sessler, a fucking moron, but it's just, it's just, it's just weird, it's just really funny that they would go, like, to such a degree that they would do a 180, anyway, I'm just, I just think, I think it's funny, I think it's po worth pointing out that it's like, hey guys, you know, well there's, there's my man Sessler, you know, fucking moron, but anyway, I just think it's funny. I think it's, it, it, it again shows that they don't actually give a shit about this stuff. Because if they did, they would stick to their guns. They would say, we're not going to objectify women. But no, the, the, the first, you know, first, I don't say the first chance, I guess. But, uh, you know, they take a chance to objectify women. Oh, no, look out, let me clutch my pearls to try to get more viewers, ratings, whatever you want to call it. You know, anyway, just funny to me. I'll go ahead and wrap this up here. Thank you very much for watching and have a good one.